So could you walk me through like what are the roles and responsibilities of like a VP of engineering? Like if, let's say that I start as VP of eng at Shopify tomorrow. Mm-hmm. How do I become useful to the org? How do I know that I'm being productive and actually helping out in some way? Yeah, you're asking a very um like esoteric question that probably mm-hmm. people ra- grapple with uh, in mm-hmm. these types of roles. So there's a few things that I think are useful to think about in in that framework. One is that at Shopify what we try to do is make sure that there are specific initiatives and projects that the leadership um actually owns end to end. Okay. So instead of just saying, "Hey, you oversee a bunch of these teams," there are projects and specific deliverables and um deep dive spikes that I do that only I'm like responsible for, so I can't just say, "Oh, that was that team or it was that person." Like I I actually own them myself. Okay. And you're That's accountable for the success of that project. Yeah, I don't I have, so I have a beef with the word accountable. <laughs> because, um I like the word responsible. Okay. And the difference to me is there's actually a great um set of interesting like research you can do on the Finnish school system. And there's this guy named Pazi Salberg. I think I'm probably saying that wrong or Salzburg who revamped the Finnish school system and he has this great line where he says accountability is what's left once all responsibility is removed. Mm-hmm. And what that means is that you want to be the person who is doing the thing and then be responsible for the thing, not just like a sign off person. Mm-hmm. And sometimes in some companies you can be accountable by just being the person who like signs the thing at the end, but you didn't have any hand in the making of the thing. Mm-hmm. And um I I'm a really big believer that if you're going to be part of the team at all levels, you should be able to figure out the unique parts of the initiative that you can own that makes the whole better than it would be without you there. Uh and so at Shopify we really do focus on leaders having responsibility for some aspect of the final product and I think that's really helped us make those spikes. Mm-hmm. And it's why you'll see, you know, one of the incredible things about Shopify is um the senior leadership team specifically Toby the CEO and JML the CTO um commenting on PRs right like Even writing today. code still yeah. mm-hmm. and not to say that that's a a a a a like they're micromanaging some aspect of something it's more about understanding things to one level level, level deeper than you normally would mm-hmm. and it's something that I I don't think I would be able to learn anywhere else but Shopify um so that's one part of it the other part of it is of course being surrounded with great people in the company that you hope you can unblock right i don't mm-hmm. think i have any special sauce that being around me makes those people better but if i can listen to them and understand what the issues are and unblock them remove barriers remove administration help bring other smart people to the table show them something like oh i know you're focused on this but you know over here we're doing this other thing and it might be useful to put together with this um I know you talked about this in your in your podcast with uh, Bharat around um when to rewrite something mm-hmm. like if you can bring in an opinion and come to come to those discussions with an open mind and help somebody see something maybe they didn't see before I think that's part of um making that team better. 